solution set, which is the overlapping region of the two inequalities. So the first one you can see is really like in a standard type form where the variables are on the left and the numbers on the right. So what I would do in this case is I would make a little table here where I set x to 0 and then I set y to 0. So that allows us to find the intercepts. So if I set x to 0, 0 times 4 is just going to be 0. So that's why I'm covering that up. If we divide both sides by 5, you can see that the y-intercept is 4. So I'm just going to go ahead and 1, 2, 3, 4, there's our point right there. Now if we set y to 0, 5 times 0 is 0, I'm covering that up. Divide both sides by 4, you can see that x is 5. So that gives us the x-intercept, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right there. Now you can see that this is less than but not equal to, so that means this is going to be a dashed or a dotted line. Okay, so I'm going to draw that in there like so and it keeps going, right? Now the next thing we want to do is we want to decide, are we going to shade this side of the line or are we going to shade this side of the line? Which side of the plane is going to be the solution set? Well, when it's in the standard type form, what you can do is just pick a test point, uh, test point and use the test point method. A good point is like the origin, 0, 0. If I put 0 in for x and 0 in for y, 0 times 4 is 0, 0 times 5 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, is 0 less than 20? Yes, that's true. If, if it was false, we'd shade the other side of the line, but since this is true, we're going to shade where this test point is. And this is the technique that I normally use. I, when I shade, I like to draw the, the shading lines, I guess you could call them, perpendicular to the line. See how these are at right angles? And it'll make it a little bit easier to find the overlapping region. Now, some students will use uh, colored pencils or other techniques like that, but I like this method, so I'll show you this one. And then here we've got y is less than 2x plus 8. So this one's already in the slope-intercept form. So we're going to graph the y-intercept 8. Okay, let's see. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 right there. And it has a slope of 2. So we're going to go up 2 over 1. Or it could go down 2, that's negative 2, left 1, that's negative 1. And you could repeat that process, you know, a few times, like so. And you can see this is less than but not equal to as well, so this is going to be a dashed or a dotted line, like so. And it keeps going. Now, because this is uh, the y is by itself and it's y is less than, what you can do is you can just shade below the line. The y controls the vertical direction, right, up and down. So if it's in this form where the y is by itself, less than means you just shade below the line. Not left, not right, but straight down. So if you pick a point on this line, greater than would be straight up from this point, less than would be straight down. So I want to shade down like this. But sticking with the technique I was talking about earlier, I know it's this side of the line here. I'm going to draw uh, perpendicular shading lines, okay, to this line. And you'll see why in a second. Okay, if you're with me so far, what do you notice? You can see this cross-hatched region right here. Okay, see here it's singly shaded, singly shaded, doubly shaded, right? So that's where the two regions are overlapping. So any point in this region here will make this inequality true and the second inequality true. So any point in here is going to be our solution. And what I usually do is I go back and then I just I would just darken it in you know, further so you can more clearly see that, that region. So if you're enjoying videos like this, consider supporting me on my Patreon page. That's uh, patreon.com slash Mario's Math Tutoring. I'll have a link for that. And subscribe to the channel. Check out more math videos on Mario's Math Tutoring YouTube channel. And I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.